Now, after a successful pilot last year, the TV show Embarrassing Pets is back, following a team of vets and behavioural experts who try to fix uh, embarrassing pet problems. And guess what? We've got one here. Yes, an embarrassing pet, although he's no longer embarrassing, I don't think. She's no longer embarrassing. One of the vets from the show, Deep Teach Sharma, is here, along with Tom and his chihuahua, Darcy. Uh, they both feature in the programme because of Darcy's bad breath. Because of Darcy's bad breath. Question for you. I thought all dogs had bad breath. Well, Darcy's was, was pretty vile, <laughs> to be fair. Um, yeah, it was beyond bad. It was horrendous. And so you wanted to get that fixed. Enter yeah. Deep Tea. Yeah. So um, you identify the problem, um, and then in Darcy's case, what was the, the treatment? So with every dog, like you said, they always have a degree of bad breath. Mm. Darcy's in particular was, was quite terrible. Um, and there's lots of different reasons why that can be. So there can be tooth problems, there can be gum problems. Um, but I'm not going to tell you exactly how we fix this because uh, you have to watch the show uh, to find okay, out. You're teasing us, you're teasing us. <laughs> so just how bad was it, Tom? And mm. when did you think, I need help with this, this is beyond normal? Uh, just the anti-social part of it, you know, when you've got friends coming around and family and, you know, she's, she's quite a cute dog. I mean, some people wouldn't say that she's quite ugly, but you know, <laughs> a lot of people want to give her a lot of force. And, and when she gets close to people, it was really, really, really bad. Um, and then that makes it like quite awkward and they don't want to be around her. And so I just thought, oh, she's clearly very sweet, very <laughs> cute. <laughs> How close did you have to be in order to be able to smell the bad breath? Not, not very close, to be fair. It was, it was really, really poignant. Um, oh, well, we can't smell it from this. this yeah, no, well, it's resolved. Can we get a bit closer? It's all sorted now, yeah. Can we get a bit closer? <laughs> Darcy, have you sorted out your problems? <laughs> no, can't smell anything no. at all. Um, what are some of the other problems that, that pets have had? without sort of giving away too much that you've come across? There's lots of interesting cases on the show and there's such a big variety. You know, we've got parrots, we've got... Hedgehogs, I think we've even Hedgehogs. got... Yeah, so that was a very interesting case I had as well, um, where one of the hedgehogs would only ever eat chicken nuggets and nothing else. <laughs> so <laughs> there's really lots of interesting cases on there. I didn't even know hedgehogs ate meat. Actually, I thought we just gave them milk and bread. No, that's, that's what yeah. you shouldn't do, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Tom, what was it like for you and uh, Darcy taking part in, in the programme? It was really, really positive. Uh, really good experience. It was really good to see obviously the other pets um, um, and what, what, what other people face, what other problems people face. But it was just a really positive experience to get Darcy's breath sorted because what I thought it was, it turned out to be something completely different. Mm. And how soon after the treatment did you start to see change? Immediately. It was immediate, yeah. Um, obviously Darcy had a couple of days recovery, but yeah, no, it was it was immediate, and I was thankful for that because my, my home doesn't smell of bad breath anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that might seem sort of quite a superficial problem to, to some people. Were you seeing more serious cases that really impacted on, on the families of the, the, the pets? Yeah, absolutely. So a problem that's embarrassing can have a domino effect and really change the status of a pet at home and affect every member of the family. So my job as one of the vets on the show was to really try and provide a helpful solution and try and give them some hope that actually we can fix things and we can really change things at home for your pet, which is really important. Are you surprised at what a, a hit the, the programme has been with this subject matter? Because it was initially just a pilot, but it's been so successful that it's, it's now yeah. coming back as a full-blown series. I think, as a nation, we love pets. And this show in particular, it's really fun, it's really light-hearted, and there's just so many different cases that it's interesting to watch and people also learn a lot from watching it in a fun way so mm. I, i'm not surprised i actually would have expected something like this to be, really engage with the public and tom finally tell us how darcy got her name um i think it just suits her she she, <laughs> she dances around on her back legs like a certain ballerina so oh, uh, there's a clue there yeah uh, but no i think she just suits the name so <laughs> that's what we called her